Um, so in this example, again, ladies and gentlemen, it just comes into the same thing. Plot the information. You have endpoints. That's pretty simple to plot, right? That's just points. So we're doing 1, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, they said these are your major axis vert, um, endpoints. So therefore, those are your vertices. OK? Um, so now we know those are vertices. Well, automatically, I can tell you the major axis is going to be vertical, right? Because the major axis, vertices, foci, and center all lie through. So therefore, I'm just going to draw this nice little dotted line here and say that's my major axis. I also know that the center is midway between my two vertices. So as long as I know my two vertices, I just need to find the center point to find my cent or center point between the two vertices to find my center. So I see the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So therefore, half the distance would be 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's my center, which is 1, 2. Does everybody agree with me? OK, so therefore, the center, since the whole distance is 12, that means a is equal to 6. Would everybody feel comfortable with that? Did we? OK, well, um, I'll finish it. I'll just go through it. It seemed familiar. I didn't know if I did it in this class or not. Um, if the minor axis is 8, the minor axis is 8, therefore b is going to be half that length, which is 4. Now again, the minor axis is perpendicular. Minor axis is perpendicular to the major axis, and it also goes through the center. So you guys could see that the minor axis would be 1, or 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Those would be your co-vertices. Now, you're not identifying your co-vertices, but it's just nice just so you guys can kind of see if you were to graph this. You know, your graph would look something like that, right? But you don't have to do that. It's just visually for me, I like to do that. All right, so does everybody see how we found the center? My A and my B. Does everybody see how we found the center, A and B? Yeah. No. Sorry, that's a negative. No, that's a, yeah, sorry. Huh? How do you find the center again? Here's my two vertices. The center is the midpoint between your two vertices. So you just find the middle between your two vertices. Yes? OK, so here's the center. A represents the distance from the center to my vertice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK? And then same thing here. The length from co-vertice to co-vertice is 8. So the distance from the center to my co-vertice is B, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, or half of the length. OK, we good? So now we know our major axis is vertical. So unlike the last problem, we're going to use the other formula. So now I have x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. So the only difference between this equation and the last equation was a was under the x, right? When it has a major axis horizontal, a is under the x. So now you just plug in your information x minus 1 squared divided by b squared, which is 16, plus y minus 2 squared over a squared, which is 36, equals 1. So when is it push it to be in the a? a is under your x squared when the major axis is horizontal. a is under the y when the major axis is vertical. And A is always larger than B because A represents the length 